What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with my next film review, and this is going to be the 2020 film Tenet. So, the review here is going to be a little bit different than what a normal review would be in that I'm going to share a way of watching the movie to help make sense of it, because while it is a movie about time travel, it's more of a film about time inversion, and based on an old um christian tablet with a latin palindrome so kind of uh, uh, one of those things where christopher nolan built a movie around this t the concept on this tablet and i will summarize the film at the end for what it, the film boiled down to but was based on a good premise so the premise that the film was uh, built on it is the tablet called Sator Square, which has five words on it that form palindromes. So each of the words spells the same word forward and backwards. Um, but not only do they form it uh, left and right, but they form it up and down. So um, that's part one. And part two is that each word on the tablet has its own description, meaning of the word and that sort of thing so and then each of those words has an appearance in the film so when you're watching it um you'll see that the bad guy's name is sator who's kind of a and on the tablet means sower or planter or originator so um in the film he's kind of the originator of a bad of the bad um um, the bad guy side of things so he's not necessarily the main villain but he's because he's running on limited time he's kind of the originator for the end of the world stuff that's going to be um, happening um, the next one on the tablet is Arepo which is basically just a proper name um, possibly of Egyptian origin um, but it's coded from something called Harpocrates, um, which I'm not sure, they don't, I didn't really see kind of what it means, but it's a, doing a quick Google search, it's the god of silence or secrets, so in the film, Arepo is the person who is tied to the secret paintings, which Sator holds over his wife's head, so he owns a fake painting, but nobody knows that, and the wife doesn't know that until later in the film, so, um, that's the tie-in there. Um, the tablet's next word is tenant, which is someone who holds, keeps, possesses, possesses, master, and preserves. So the tenant organization is the organization that's trying to preserve or master and hold on to the original time frame and the uh, normal flow of time. So that's the tie-in there. Nothing fantastic, but kind of why you see tenant as the quote good guys of the film and the main character being the protagonist um next up you have something or you have opera on the tablet which uh, directly ties into the opening sequence of the film but it is on the tablet it is set to mean labor or service or trouble um or something related to your original works or deeds so the opera is kind of the key initiating event for the protagonist to start down the road to eventually creating Tenet and meeting his later protege, which um, I will talk about in a little bit. That was not presented well, but I read a, saw in a review to kind of explain it as a potential theory. But it's one of those things that Christopher Nolan presents as thinking about the film, which is the other tie-in for later in the review. But the opera is the um starting event for what is going to happen in the rest of the film and finally you have rotas which is to turn or rotate or cause to rotate so essentially that's the premise of the film is um, time inversion so while um they are moving normal um progress every the protagonist and um what he perceives as going normally through time, you have his inverted self and um, the people behind Tenet learning how to travel backwards through time to prevent the villains who are also going backwards through time in order to stop them from the end of the world. 
Um, so while all the elements of this the tablet are presented well, there's the explanation is kind of watered down to the point where it's kind of hard to follow what is going or why the events are important. So they do explain the time inversion, but it's kind of flaky as far as how the pieces of the tablet fit together in the visual medium. And while the film is very visual with minimal audio and dialogue to fill it in, there is enough dialogue for the pieces that, okay, you have the protagonist learning about time inversion, you have the main villain, Sator, trying to put together the main pieces that were um, separated throughout Russia to um, come together and make the inverted time the primary timeline, but that wasn't really presented well enough to the point where it made sense. And then by the time you finish the film, you've learned that the person that the protagonist was trying to protect and cat along with her son, it turns out that cat's son turns out to be Neil, um, who, um, in the as far as the uh, protagonist knows, is named Maximilian, which in this review I saw um, the end of the um, name Maximilian is lean, inverted is Neil. So one of those embedded things that if you don't pick up on it, you don't really see it. So one of those things where the film, the premise of the film is good, but for me, it was presented better in Inception as far as the layers within layers and having to do a... Um, going deeper into your mind to make or be going deeper into someone else's mind to make it seem like an idea that was planted was their actual idea or their own idea so in this case um planting the seeds of tenant was is a good idea but um um, the idea of Rotas or um time inversion wasn't presented well or the idea of tenant was not presented well to the point where um, they were trying to follow the general rule of time travel that you don't want to interact with your own self because that'll cause a problem and you don't want to um, give out too much information because that will change things too far as well. So um, the film, as far as I could tell, was okay, but essentially it came down to the time cop version of Inception. So for me... The film was good, but it required maybe a little bit more explanation as far as um, maybe or maybe tying a little bit more of the tablet or maybe a little bit more interactions as far as the ideas of time inversion because it felt like they were keeping too much um, separated between the characters, but it felt like there should have been more interactions between the characters at their various stages. So whether it's the protagonist talking to Neil about stuff, Neil telling the protagonist, talking to Sator or even Kat at some point because they have to bring her in on it, or just knowing when to bring up enough of information to make it all make sense. So it will require another viewing, but it's one of those things where um, there wasn't enough even disparate information to make the film interesting or not interesting but make the film make sense so even toward so basically it's a whole part between the opera scene and the um regular time and inverted time battle at the end of the film they should have there should have been more explanation as far as what was going on um with the various elements even though we do see towards the end of the film where um, the accident that the protagonist is in was the inverted portion of the freeway scene where the in real time they were trying to where he gives up the one of the pieces of the um in time inversion bomb or whatever to Sator. So one of those things where it does require watching it a lot or watching it a couple of times to make sense, but wasn't really explained well enough to make sense the first viewing or at least um even tie in at the beginning to say that this tablet was t um, presented or found to make time inversion possible and the um company behind tenet was created to 
make that all possible or something along those lines. But in any case, the film is good. But if you go into it, go into the film understanding the Sator Square and what that represents and finding those various elements in the film, it will make it that much more easier to watch and follow. But just know that a lot of the film is visual. So having to see, having seen, or having seen the various, um, pieces of the puzzle like the protagonist fight scene at the beginning with himself the little ribbon that falls out of um, Neil's pocket the pickpocket's pocket um Sador and his cancer and the inverted times times that they're going in regular time versus inverted all need to be paid attention to as you watch the film so that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website's PatelN01.com for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning in, and until next time.